be sure to go to FlipSideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. Do the same at the Grizzly Gentleman, same promo code, 10% off at checkout. Both of these are fantastic deals, and they help support the show. Hey, uh, uh what's up there, Planeswalkers? Uh, good old Theric 6 back with some more Magic the, Ga- Come on. Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, just, uh, you know, playing, uh, playing some good old carts. Uh, hoping, uh, hoping to have a good time. End of the, end of the, the monocolored week here with, uh, mono blue spirits. Uh, you know, I thought about a lot of different things, and, uh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, <laughs> thought about a few different, uh, deck archetypes for mono blue. Uh, I saved it for last because it was the one that I had, like, the least certainty on. Uh, and I ended up going with mono blue spirits because I think spirits are cool. Uh, I think they're a cool tribe, just like illusions. Um, I would love to see some illusion tribal being brought into, a into arena because uh, it's just it's just a fun time so anyway uh this is you know it's uh it's a deck <laughs> it's a good deck no the other ones i all played in uh in a historic rank i'm not gonna play this one in ranked <laughs> we got three curious obsession because some of the spirits you know have evasion and stuff i mean i can't actually put it on on this one just because uh, then i have to sacrifice it but you know it's, it's it's fine you know potentially we can uh draw cards and stuff is my hope not sure it'll work out but uh, still you know, four Spectral Sailors, uh, it's a flash, it flies, and, uh, you know, it can uh, help me draw a card, so uh, it's, it's okay. We got Ugin's Conjurate, uh, this is a good old-fashioned, uh, modular one, we can, uh, choose, <laughs> I don't know why I'm slipping back into the, into the garbage accent here, um, it's, it's something that we can cast, you know, whenever part of the curve we really need it to be on. Four Departed Deckhands, uh, you know, can't be blocked except by Spirits, so we can keep getting that sweet, sweet damage in, and, uh, if we have to, we can go ahead and make another one of our creatures not be able to be blocked except by other spirits. So we can, uh, you know, if something has Curious Obsession, maybe say uh, an Ugin's Conjurate or something, we can go ahead and, uh, you know, pay four and uh, make it go through. It's great. Except for, you know, when it dies. <laughs> Ghostly Pilfer is uh, one of the newer cards. We got uh, two minute two one. Whenever it becomes untapped, you may pay two if you do draw a card. Whenever opponent casts a spell from anywhere other than your hand, draw a card. Discard a card. Can't be blocked this turn. So... It has uh, a few nice different ways of drawing cards, and, you know, considering Curious Obsession uh, is something that could help me draw cards, I can discard a card, essentially, to just get through for some 2 damage uh, without losing out a card advantage because we get the card draw back. And then if our opponent happens to cast nonsense from other places, then we can just be like, ah, nah, screw you. 4 Shackle Geist is a 2 mana 2 to flyer, it can only block creatures with flying, that's fine, we, we hopefully aren't going to be blocking with this at all. We're just going to be attacking with it. Uh, tap two untap spirits you control. Tap target creature you don't control. So if at some point, you know, um, some of our spirits are, you know, starting to get out class because they're, you know, small, then you can, you know, tap things. I don't. I keep saying you know, and I'm I'm not trying to. <laughs> but uh, mm, I almost did it again. If your opponent has a questing beast, then you can tap a spectral sailor and a, you know, depart. I said it again in a departed deck hands. <laughs> in order to tap it down. Oh, goodness. I, I This is hard. Supreme Phantom is a Spirit Lord. By the way, I wanted this to be the uh, the art because I love Igor's art. But uh, I couldn't find uh, any art for this or this. So I'm going with Supreme Phantom. All right. Uh, Dungeon Geist was also quite small. Love Neil's hand, but uh, very small. I like this one, but I've just used it before. I kind of end history. It, you name spirits. You get your spirits a little bit bigger. You can search the library for... Or you should search the top for some spirits. Sorry. For Dungeon Geist, uh, it taps things down and it keeps them tapped. It's great. It also flies. It's nice. Two sleeps. Uh, sometimes our opponent's creatures are big, and we gotta make them go uh, night night, so we can attack them while they're sleeping. One Ugin the Ineffable. It makes spirits, so I thought it'd be funny. Uh, and then this is the mana base. It's we're rocking twenty three, I think. Yeah, twenty three lands. Uh, I got two lonely sandbars. You know what? Uh, we're we're gonna do a, a slight audible here. We're gonna do that. All right. Well, oh, there we go. I didn't, I didn't want to press that button. Why is that a dedicated button? Stop, wizards. Please. I don't like it. Did, did it actually save? Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if it would, if it would save the change. <sighs> so we're gonna, we're gonna hop into some normal play mode with, jeez. With Sky Souls. Okay. Everything's fine. I'm gonna brush my beard because it looks off. It's still gonna look awful after I brush it, but... That's just because I don't treat it properly in terms of trimming. I have beard shampoo. I use the sweet Grizzly Gentleman uh, beard oil. I just, I don't trim it. <laughs> I'm not, 
I, I need to do so. I need to do it, but I don't because I'm trash. <laughs> okay. This is an okay hand. We got the turn one, turn two. We're going to get to the Yorian deck. Okay, uh, well. Kind of sucks, but whatever, I guess. <laughs> they mulliganed, which was nice. And we pass. Green. Alright, well. I'm assuming this is going to be some sort of band deck. Ooh! Supreme Phantom. <laughs> Gotta get it for that, that two damage on turn two. Yeah. <sighs> okay, what, what color is this nonsense? And the battlefield tapped. They're playing four color non black Yorian, potentially. Um, I guess I'll play Deckhand. I wish I had another land. But it's fine! Just attack your opponent and hope that they can't, uh, wipe your board. You just, uh, really hope that they, uh, can't wipe your board. Oh, okay! You know what? Yorian, you're fine. You got, you got the, the Sanctums. That, you know, that's fine. That's totally fine. Um, I could play Shaco Geist, but I think I would... I think I would rather flash this in, just in case my opponent has some nonsense. Okay. I'm down to nine. Next turn will be uh, what, two, four, uh, eight. So I can potentially put them to one. I could potentially. Never mind. Uh... Okay, I got the land, which is nice. This can't be blocked. Except by some other things. Can I tap this? Oh, I can tap my own Shackle, guys. Okay, so I'm going to play this. I'm going to tap itself. Ooh. Tap itself and tap the Supreme Phantom so I can deal maximum damage. An attack. Get him down to two. And let's hope that my opponent doesn't have a board wipe. The added white does not make me feel confident. I can tap down a single creature. Okay, Calyx is fine. Calyx is fine. To order by my hand. That, if that's all... Okay. So we'll play this. I'm gonna cast Dungeon Gun. We did it! <laughs> Hooray! Alright, a single win? All I technically need. Alright. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I've, I've lost my mind. It's the ghosts. They're getting to me. I'm haunted by my past. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we got some got, some, got a decent number of questions here today on the Discord. Cunning asks, hypothetically, can an omnipotent god create a rock so heavy that not even it would be able to lift it? Used him, but whatever. Um, I'm going to answer. I, I, just, I will delete questions if I don't think that they're um, appropriate for answering on the show uh, or if it's just like a question that is directed towards me but doesn't make sense like it's something that I would rather just answer on discord uh, I'll usually delete it and then immediately answer uh, in the another section of the discord so turn one turn two turn three maybe maybe it won't be too bad because then uh, if nothing else I can start using icon yeah that's that is probably fine they're on gruel Uh, yeah. I guess I will do this. We'll see, it. We'll see how it goes. Um, the idea of an omnipotent god is uh, self-contradictory, and that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> oh gosh, it's the burning trees into burning trees. Are you going to come my Ugin's Contrant? Feel my conjurant might die. No, that was the worst way it could have died. Because now this is bigger. Um, I mean, I could play this. It probably just dies to a. I don't know. I'm gonna play this first. Not gonna lie. Uh, 
but not super enthused about my position here, but, you know, Kessel by. Born of the Night Esper fan asks about uh, Fumiko. Thoughts on Fumiko. Now, Fumiko, for those of you who don't know, is a 4-mana, 2-red-red, uh, 3-2 red, uh, human samurai. Fumiko has Bushido X, where X is the number of attacking creatures. Uh, creatures your opponent's control attack each combat of able. How do I feel about Fumiko? I think that Fumiko... Uh, well, first of all, I think that this hand is sad. Uh, <laughs> I, I drew all three of my icons when I really rather would have drawn another uh, spirit. I am going to, I guess, Supreme Phantom here. I mean, technically I could have iconed, but we pass to try and block block, although probably isn't the smartest move, to be honest, but I mean, it's fine. They, they play this, they attack, uh, and then I, I die to, uh... oh, no, they're just going to Domri's ambush. Cool. They shocked for a reason. Yeah, that's a concession. We didn't, we uh, didn't have enough creatures. <laughs> um, I think Fumiko is interesting. Uh, the the unfortunate bit is that uh, Night Raven, er, sorry, Born of the Night. I don't know why I said Night Raven. Uh, Esper fan did not really clarify what exactly they meant by my thoughts. I think she's cool. Um, I like Bushido on paper, <laughs> but not. Like, actually, because uh, Bushido is a very straight... It's, it's similar to um, Rampage? Frenzy? No, not Rampage. Rampage is cool. Is it Frenzy? Oh. Frenzy. It's not Frenzy. I'm pretty sure not Rampage either, because I think Rampage is the one where you get to choose and untap things. Another creature becomes... Oh, no, no, okay. Yeah, Rampage sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, Rampage sucks. And it's sim it's similar to Rampage. Oh, no, it's Tempered Steel? Uh-oh. I'm in a bad way. We're screwed. Um, what is the what is the name of the other mechanic? Also, Fudge. I guess she's done that second. Camp three. I feel like, in order to win, I have to get uh, more sleeps than I actually have in the deck. Oh, I could have played this for zero, dude. I should have played this for zero. Crystalline Giants. Don't gain reach, please. Okay, we do this. 
Spirit. And then we can play both of these for zero. And there'll be two twos. Look, it's free real estate, okay? I mean, we swing in. I should have. I should have done this afterwards. Uh, block. No, he can't swing. Oh, right. Fudge. Only I didn't say fudge. That's fine. That's also fine. That is also fine. The f unfortunate thing is, I can't win! <laughs> Darn. Whatever, it's, it's okay. Uh, yeah, I think I think Fumiko is interesting. Um, that 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 is about it. I, she does not have very many applications. Slick Samos asks, "What are my favorite compliments?" Nice. I I legit I don't have any. <laughs> I did think about this because I've, I've had this since. Uh... Oh wait, that was today. How is this today? I've been thinking about it. I guess I've been thinking about it like all day. Uh, I, I, uh, I don't, I don't know. Huey Lewis, where's the news? Okay, this hand seems fine. We're going against a Yurian deck. Maybe it's sufficient to beat them, even though I'm going second, and I have four lands. Who knows? I play bad deck. Um, getting back to, uh, Saturday, we are going to... Go back to the good old-fashioned uh, standard decks. Um, the next arena thing that has actual prize money um, is going to be historic. Day two is best of three. Day one is can best of one. Everyone here knows what I'll be playing in day two. Lord Bolus. But day one, I don't actually know. I'm also going to actually practice and try and do this because winning money would be pretty hype. Okay. This isn't the same person. Since when are these decks running Yorian? Damn hom homogeneity. And then we'll smork on in. Um, yeah, look, I don't I don't care about compliments. <laughs> I'm a bad person. Don't get me wrong. I'm a, I'm a terrible person um, who would like to have Juicy, oh god. Mm. I really like pineapple. So next turn, I can do this for big. Or excuse me, uh, I can do it for big. That's, that's very, very dangerous. Like, very, very dangerous. I guess. I could also just do this for one and use this. I could do this. Um, I assume this deck is running board wipes. They are gaining three each turn. I think I'm just going to cast this for big. That way, if they do end up uh, casting the board wipe, I get to draw a card at least. Anyway. Swalzy123 asks, What cards would you like to see in the next anthology? Personal favorites as well as cards you think would be good for Historic. I put a lot of work into this one. I think that a... Oh, that's interesting. I think that getting a good hand hate card would be beneficial. A good, like, main deck will hand hate card. Hey, I was right. Um, I 
just going to attempt to rebuild. And hope they don't have another... Another white. Um... Yeah, I might be screwed. Because the fangs... Ugh, close. Um... Thoughtsies would be too strong. I, I'm almost certain of that. Thoughtsies, I think, would be just just too strong. I do wonder if Inquisition of Kozilek might be a reasonable thing to add to Historic. I don't know, but I would like Wizards to fucking try it, and then if it's too good, ban it! <laughs> the next card, I think, would be very helpful. Is Leon and Arbiter. Yes, I understand that I like playing Death and Taxes. This wouldn't be overly strong against the metagame, considering the fact that it only hurts very specific decks. But it would hurt those very specific decks. And I would like to use it. Another thing that I think would be interesting, uh, and this one this one you might think like comes out of nowhere, is Havoc Festival. Just because it's fun. <laughs> it's a six-man enchantment. Players can't gain life at the beginning of each player's upkeep. That player loses half their life rounded up. Uh, notice this is each player's upkeep. So uh, that includes you. It's just funny. <laughs> it's just a funny card. Um, okay. And this deals three damage. Um, but if they play another, I mean, I'm I'm screwed. Yeah, I'm probably screwed, but that's fine. Uh, Pything Needle. Pithing Needle, whatever. Um, the reason I choose Pithing Needle instead of um, Phyrexian Revoker is that Tempered Steel doesn't need any other cards. Tempered Steel on Arena is already good enough, in my opinion. Um, Pithing Needle would allow us to have some other ways of just stopping nonsense from occurring. Um, obviously, it can't, hit, uh, it can't hit mana abilities, but it can't hit lands for what it's worth. Um, it's only activated abilities. Um, so if for some reason you're worried about um, uh, Maze. Guild, guild Mage? Maze? What? The Gate the gate Maze. I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> um, if you're worried about that, it helps. But uh, just generally speaking, Pithing Needle is something that can come in. It, hit, it hits Planeswalkers as well. Um, just generally speaking, I think the card would be a very, very nice sideboard inclusion. And, and one thing that you might notice is that a, a decent... Like, the Lillian Arbiter, Inquisition, Pithing Needle, and uh, a couple of the other cards I'm going to talk about in a second, they're all answers to things. Because I think one of the one of the issues is that Wizards just, more recently, is printing nothing but threats. And, like, no good answers to answer those threats. And I think that... I think that having some, some more threats, even if they're just sideboard threats... Would be very helpful. I'm just going to go ahead and concede now. Get another game in. Um, this one, I, I'm not sure if it would be too good. So I've I've said for a while that mid-range on Arena is essentially non-existent, especially in Historic. You, I've seen people say that there is a Gruul mid-range deck. Bullshit. That is an aggressive deck. Other than Ember Cleave, it tops out at four. Get your garbage out of my face. Um, we'll be getting Thrag Tusk. That's cool. Thrag Tusk hopefully will help. The one issue is it might help Bant control and not necessarily um, something like an Abzan, a Jund, uh, Salt High, you know, things like that. Um, Excuse me. Why can't I move you? I can't. All right. For some reason, I can't move. Uh... What about this one? I can move this one. Oh, I can't move them around while I'm already recording. All right. Well. So it's tapped. Of course, they have to have an American flag. Oh, I know which one I... Can I move this around? Am I just full of shit? Yeah, I can't move around anything while I'm recording. This is awkward. Abrupt decay. Um, I think that... Uh, sure. I think that Abrupt decay is a card that might be able to help mid-range decks out. It can't be countered, which, you know, is nice against the stupid flash decks. Um, 
it hits dumb, annoying uh, Teferi. Three drop, eh? War boss, eh? Alright. I do get to block, right? Cool. Oh, hell yeah, I got a land. Phantom Supreme. Right, there we go. Um, and you just... You, you have a minimal, like, list of things that you can hit. But you can still hit those things, right? Like, it deals with... Uh, it deals with early planeswalkers that are super annoying. It hits um, some of the early game, uh, like, creature-based ramp. It allows you to... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It allows you to hit... Um, Hydrocrasis as well. Um, it is non-land, so it doesn't actually like destroy Nissa lands or anything. So like, I feel like it would be relatively fair. You you have to attack with those. Let me let me get in on them three the free kills. Block and block. I'll take another land. Not the one I was looking for. Um, in fact, fuck it. I'm gonna cycle it because I'm a bad person. Never punished. So now, I'm going to start attacking with this. This way, if my Supreme Phantom dies, uh, I still have uh, a blocker that can kill a war boss. I guess I should have attacked with this then. Eh, I don't know. Sure. So, based on this, I suspect that they are going to do some Trixie blocks, or Trixie shenanigans. Um, oh, they did that wrong. Yeah, they targeted the same goblin. Which means, if nothing else, I can trade with that if they kill this. But I think I'm going to do this and this. It does, it essentially decreases the total amount of damage. Uh, Supreme Phantom is going to die for sure, for certain. Um, which means the war boss, okay, never mind. I was wrong. I'm not done talking, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna play more games. Uh, I, I could be wrong about Obruct K. Uh, the next one are the the OG Theros gods, all 15 of them. I think, uh, well, I have to re remake sure. Um, Heliod, God of the Sun, uh, doesn't seem like it would be too much of an issue, gives your things vigilance, uh, cares about like making enchantment uh, creature tokens, that's pretty cool. Um, I was also going to say the... Uh, Another Yorian deck. Is this just is this just another Is this just gonna be another um Okay. No. It might just be Salt Eye Yorian. Um I mean it could still be shrines, but we'll play this one first. Um Thassa God of the Sea. Yeah, you scry and you give something unblockable. Seems interesting. Um, oh, look, it, it's just Sultai. Just Sultai nonsense. So, this turn, I'm going to... I think I'm going to play Lonely Sandbar. And Phantom. I don't want to conjure it for zero. Yeah, I don't want to conjure it for zero. Erebus Blackhearted should be fine. Or, sorry, not Blackheart, God of the Dead. God of the Dead should be fine. You know, stopping your opponent from gaining life. Whatever. Uh, da, da, da. Perforce God of the Forge. Perforce God of the Forge might be an issue. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield. Perforce God of the Forge might be the one issue. Test this. Yeah. Lelia, God of the Hunt. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Yeah, well, I'm going to tap that down, so F you. What you got, homie? Jekus. Uh, then all of the other gods should be absolutely fine. Mogus. Xenogod. Karametra, Athreos, Kronos, Farika's trash. 
Iroas, Kruvix, yeah, all of them should be fine. So I, I really would like to see the uh, the OG Theros gods, the, the 15 Theros gods, um, with with the, the asterisk that Perforos actually might be a bit strong. Uh, you're still dead, though. Unless they're not. Uh, and then after that... <laughs> this sounds weird. Oh, you have a blocker? No, you don't. You have two blockers? Well, that actually is true. Never mind! I was gonna play Ugin, but instead I'll put your creatures to sleep. Spirits. I hope you and your dumb Sultai Yurian nonsense learned your lesson. The ghosts of the dead are always gonna come for you at the end of the day, brother. I, I shouldn't have said brother, I'm sorry. Um, oh, excuse me. We got a pack, why not? I think that all of the modern master's cards, all, sorry, are all of the first printing modern master's cards that do not see play in modern, legacy, or popper. Yes. Or, or vintage, but I, I don't know if it's in vintage. I think it would be interesting to see all of those in historic. They might need to cut down, trim some more of it, um, because some of them that don't actually see modern legacy or popper play might still actually be too strong uh, for for historic. Um, but at the same time, like it's a lot of cards. It's not necessarily a list that they have to like curate as hard as other anthologies. Um, and, like, you already know, like, if it sees play in these other formats, even if they're, like, format-specific, like, they wouldn't necessarily make sense in uh, Historic. It's something you could chuck in. For what it's worth, you could also just, like, completely cut the snow part. Just, like, n not allow us to have any snow. I think that would probably be okay. Um, but, I mean, it would be difficult because some of the snow permits see play in these other formats. So, um, we'd also get, like, slivers, but none of the, like, super busted slivers. So, that'd be pretty cool. Um... Yeah, I just, think, I just think it'd be kind of interesting to to have a few of them. We'd get a, a few ninjas. We'd have uh, more zombies that I think would be pretty cool to have. Um, yeah, just just generally speaking, I think it would be... I think a lot of those cards would be pretty cool to have. Would they be too strong? Not if they have all of those requirements not met. So, uh -huh. uh, And then there were a couple of charms that I wanted to talk about. Um, not the dumb multicolored charms. Because I like charms, for what it's worth. Um... Yeah, it was the, the Alara charms. The Bant charm, Esper charm, Grixis charm, Jun charm. Oh, Grixis charm can hit lands, and I know a lot of people wouldn't like that, so never mind. Because uh, I would like them to come as a set. Um, I'm pretty sure that the Tarkir charms are too strong. <laughs> I don't know, I like charms. Charms are cool. Charms give that sweet versatility that I constantly talk about and I never shut up about. Um, I think that was everything for that question yeah and i have other i have an other uh just a quick question but i'll hit that in the next episode i do of course hope you've enjoyed this video um i would like to thank my lovely patrons for the continued support if you'd like to join them and support the show you'll find links to that down in the description uh if you did enjoy this go ahead and like come subscribe um all of that really does mean a lot <laughs> i really should stop looking at my analytics <laughs> but anyway um until next time all will be one and stuff